Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to unturned 3.6.8. I missed 3.6.7. I, I just straight up just didn't even know it was updated until like two days later. Um, in this instance, updated last night, really late again, so I gotta upload it after school. In terms of the last update, Nelson added canteen, which is awesome, um, alongside lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, wheat, and some other various additions as well and I'll put the update post of that down below in addition to the 3.6.8.0 update but in this video I'm gonna go over 3.6.8 more because that is the most recent update and in 3.6.8 the focus was completely on bows. This one is a crossbow but there is also pine bow, birch bow, maple bow, compound bow and also different various arrows as well so very cool. I have them all in my inventory right now. In my Alice pack I have all the different kinds of arrows. There are regular arrows which are kinda like made out of metal and stuff and it's hard to snap and then there are maple arrows birch arrows and pine arrows down here in the bottom right. I don't know what different effects there are between these but we're gonna figure that out. As you can see they all have green little arrows on them meaning that they have a durability so just from that we can probably already assume that these metal arrows have a higher durability than compared to these other ones. So probably each one of these have a certain amount of uses you can go there pick them back up after you shoot them um, but those are all the arrows. Up here at the top I have a maple bow down here we have a birch bow, at the bottom we have a pine bow, and then at the very bottom we have a compound bow. And then I guess lastly we also have the crossbow which is currently the thing that I have equipped. But first off let's see how this thing just simply performs against some zombies. Well actually before we do that we should probably check out the attachment slots on this. You can have a tactical attachment, a grip attachment, and a sight attachment on your crossbow. Very cool and let's just shoot at this zombie. Now there probably is some drop as well that you have to consider. So we're probably gonna have to aim a bit higher than that and shoot. And I, I just completely missed. All right, look, maybe, look, maybe there isn't actually as much drop as I'm thinking there is. So let's just shoot at it. Eh, got it. Uh oh, now he's going after me. Aim at his head. Eh, bingo, got him right in the face. So one thing I kinda wanna see is if it actually like stuck the arrow into his face or if it just dropped it on the ground. Oh, yep, here's the arrow. So it did just drop it on the ground. But now we go look at that arrow that we just picked up. Is it this one? I don't know. Maybe crafting and repair. So maybe the first shot didn't actually um, do that much damage to the arrow, but we'll shoot at this guy. Oh god, I just missed. But that's that's kind of the benefit of of a, of a crossbow. Like if you miss, the zombies won't know about you. So it's a really good stealth weapon. This is kind of nice. Let's shoot at that guy. Reload. Shoot at the next guy. Although of course you're gonna have to go to each zombie and pick up the arrows, which kind of sucks. So we gotta pick up that arrow. <laughs> pick up this next arrow. Boom. Got him. Let me do a quick test with a different kind of arrow, pine arrow. Let's see how this performs. And it does change the look of the arrow when it's on your gun as well. Pretty cool. And it might still be a one-shot kill. And it is. Let's check on the body first. Oh, no, that's a regular arrow. We want a pine arrow. Let's check on the body as well. And it's not. So same as the regular arrow. I also kind of want to test if there is drop on these things. So I'm just going to aim like right at you. Here, let's let's go all the way back over here, and we're gonna aim directly in the middle of that O, and just boop. Let's see where the arrow landed. It landed right where we aimed, so it looks like there might be no drop on this. Let's do a longer range test, like to the middle of that B, and fire. Let's go check out where it landed, and looks like it landed exactly where we shot. So looks like currently there is no drop, at least for the crossbow. Um, I, I'd say that's probably something that needs to be changed. But next let's take a look at the maple bow and just equip that. Comes automatically equipped with an arrow already in the chamber. Or, well, I don't know, this is gun terms that we're talking about. I guess in this instance it just comes with a usable arrow. But anyway, so when you zoom down, it looks like this one doesn't have a specific point at which it'll land. So that's definitely a benefit that the crossbow has compared to everything else. You look down the sides of this, you aren't going to hit him. I mean, you might get really lucky, but you aren't going to hit him. You're going to have to get up real close and personal uh, to see if it's even possible to hit him. But it's also got some cool animations when you look down. It's, it pulls it pulls the string, and if you listen closely, it also has a little string tightening noise. 
Anyway, pretty cool. And now let's just aim right at his head. We might be a bit lucky here. There we go. We got him in the head. Very nice. Get another arrow. He pulls it from his back. Now we've got a regular arrow compared to the pine arrow from before. It might have been maple. Aim at him. Boom! One hit kill. It's kind of strange how it goes instantly. It flies instantly, but that might be changed in the future. Look at that. Whoa! I'm getting so lucky. Let's see about this guy. Wait, what is going on? I'm hitting them directly every time. What about this guy? Um, what? Do I even have to aim at them? Yeah? Okay, wait. Alright, this is confusing me. What the? What the? I'm a wizard! Alright, before I end up killing all the zombies, I guess we'll check out a different bow, but that's kind of strange. I'm getting, like, dead-on accurate. Perhaps Nelson hasn't added, um, that spread factor yet, because... Oh, there we go. This time I actually missed, but... Um, oh, what? I'm missing. What? How was it? Was I just getting extremely lucky last time? There we go. We hit him. There we go. There we go. Got him. <laughs> All right. So it looks like basically when you zoom down, the arrow will land in the center of those four dots, uh, but you just don't know where the, that center exactly is. So you, you really do have to guesstimate on where that center is. But if you're pretty good at guesstimating it like that... You can get them head on every time. Next, let's look at the... No, we already looked at that. The pine bow. In this one, looks like all these kind of have the same size, the same, like, tightening of that of that reticle. So the, the birch and pine and maple, they all are basically the same. The only difference is that they just have different color scheme. So depending on on what you prefer your bow to be colored as. You can choose between those three, but the compound bow might be something different. This is kind of a more modern version than these makeshift ones. We equip this one, and this one actually has a sight to it, which sucks. It just straight up sucks. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you aim like that, maybe you'll get him. Look at that. Um, but first, yep, so holding T holds it up. You can also add a tactical attachment and you can change out those terrible sights, but it's kind of like the crossbow, except it's more of an old-fashioned style. It has the same benefits as a crossbow, except I think the crossbow had a grip attachment. But basically, if you find a crossbow or if you find a compound bow, they're both equally as awesome. But I still kind of want to test out the durability of these arrows. So I'm going to drop all the arrows, except for one. So we got a pine one, we got a yeah, we got a maple one and a pine one. We just need a regular arrow. There we go. We got our regular arrow. We'll get rid of all the rest of these bows real quick, all except for the crossbow. I guess this has already got a an arrow in it. So we got a regular arrow in our crossbow currently, and we have some extra ones real quick. We got the pine arrow and maple arrow, and then we've also got that regular arrow in there as well. I also need a birch arrow. All right, so now we finally have all the different kinds of arrows. We're going to test out the durability real quick. So first off, shoot this. Pick it up. Reload. Shoot it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Reload. Shoot it. Pick it up. All right, now let's check out the durability. Looks like it's still green. Oh, it's a darker green as well. So how many times did we shoot that? Three times? Now let's do a birch arrow. Shoot it three times. Pick it up. Reload. And third time we... Oh, wow, this is red. So compared to the regular arrow, which just darkened the green a little bit, this went straight to red. So it's probably really dull now. Um, when it comes to killing a zombie, it probably won't even be a one-hit kill anymore. So let me test that out real quick. We got a birch arrow. I'll shoot it one more time to make it like like completely 0% durability. And, oh, come on, give me the birch arrow. Birch. There we go. So it's got extremely low durability. And we'll aim it at the head of this zombie. And it's still a one-hit kill, so maybe that hasn't been factored in yet, but in the future, if there are some damage changes or some accuracy changes to the durability of the arrows, keep in mind that these wooden arrows will have lowered durability compared to the regular metal arrows. So I'll shoot this one three times just to see if it has the same effects as the birch one, which I'm assuming it probably does. And third shot. And, oh, this one's orange. So this one is in fact a bit better than the birch one. So I guess I should probably test out the maple one to see if the if the same applies to that. So we got this one, shoot it. Reload. Oops. Oops. Nope. Ah. Okay, so now I'm very confused. I just went back into my inventory and now it's back green. But now the pine one's red. Anyway, all I know is that in order of greatness, the regular arrow is the best, then there's the maple, 
then there's the pine, then there's the birch. So those are all of the arrows. I've, if I had the birch, I don't know where it went. It just freaking disappeared. It might have actually broken because of such a, oh no, it's over there. Never mind. I, I, sh I shot the zombie with it. But anyway, in order from greatest to least greatest, we have the arrow, maple arrow, pine arrow, and birch arrow. And then also you guys have already seen all the different bows, which are pretty cool. Also in the update, he tweaked the fist range. Like when it comes to punching zombies who so are now able to punch them. I'm a bit bigger of a distance, which is pretty cool. I'm not really noticing too much. It might have been very slight, but... Anyway, he um, increased the range of them and slightly decreased the damage of the fists as well. Oh, it looks like he only decreased the damage um, for barricades, so you can't punch the crap out of bar barricades pretty much at all. He reduced the damage to one, so you can't punch your way out of a house is basically what he's saying. So if you're in jail... Um, yeah, if you don't have a weapon, you're stuck in there. So basically, <laughs> um, unless you're punching for a few years. Anyway, those were all the additions in the Unturned 3.6.8.0 update. If you guys would like to see exactly everything that was added from beginning to end, I'll put the full update post in the description down below. But that is all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all the extra brush because they like big bull. Is out.